So what's left? Let's put it on the tee. He's another one of the babies that's just making life exciting here the in freshman. this year. From Orlando, Florida. Klein hits it with a wind at his back, lifts it high in the air and deep into the end zone, and there will be no return. So the Oklahoma Sooners will start at the 20 with this young man we've talked about so much at the quarterback spot. Lydell Carr will open it fullback. Good, solid sophomore player. Anthony Stafford, a freshman, 165 pounds. And Patrick Collins, a sophomore, at 185 pounds. Derek Shepard, and vice versa. Handles the first snap all right. Keeps it going down the line and will lose about three yards as Chris Spockman, 6'5", 250 for Nebraska, jumps in. Keith Jackson's a tight end, the big play man for the Sooners. Hope at tackle weighs 265. Hudson at guard weighs 280. Simpson at center weighs 265. Ferrer, the other guard, weighs in at 260. And Anthony Phillips is at 275. And he had been playing guard recently, but has moved back to tackle because of injury to Greg Johnson. So it is second down and let's say 12 yards now for the Sooners as they lose two on the first play. The ball goes this time to Patrick Collins, who comes back to about the 21. Nebraska sends Tucker, Spockman, Noonan, Scow, Reeves, Knox, and Parsons out there, the down linemen and backers, with Davis, Watkins, Washington, and Carr in the secondary. And Oklahoma's looking at third down and nine from its 21. Right up to the fullback, pull it out of his belly. Holloway keeps it, comes up to the 29-yard line. He's a yard short of his first down. Punter, punter Mike Winchester got to hit it into the wind. Wants to keep it down and does, and it's a good kick. And Nebraska feels it on a fair catch back at the 36. Bob Schnitzler pulls it down. The quarterback is McCathern Clayton. He is basically a running quarterback for the Huskers. Doug Dubose, one of the best in the country at tailback for them. And Tom Rathman has become quite a story at fullback. He's big and he's very quick. Roger Lindstrom is the wingback. See him on that counter for the day is over. And Rob Schnitzler is the big play man at wide receiver. This is a power football team. It's a team that plays almost like it's playing single wing football. And they open up with a forward pass, and it's good to Schnitzler, and it's good for a first down at the Oklahoma 47. They've got to pass, I think, to win. If they pass successfully, they might win. It's a backdoor play. Give it a Rathman, the fullback. 220-pounder from Grand Island. Slams in there for a good gain. Todd Frayne playing with a sore angle at tight end. Tim Roth at tackle, 275. Blankenship, the guard, weighs 270. Bill Lewis, the center, big one, 6'6", 275. John McCormick, 6'4", 250. And the other tackle is Tom Welter, 6'4", and 275. And it is second down and seven for the Huskers. They go to Dubos. And Dubos is caught and shoved out of bounds. They line up with Reed, Tupper, Casillas, Brian, and Murphy up front with uh, Miliazzo and Bosworth at the backer spots. Bosworth is the helmet buster. White threw it up. Brown, Rayburn, the secondary. Here's Clayton on a roll on third and seven. Throws, and he's lucky to get it back. Deep for Oklahoma. You don't get much yardage running his punch back. He throws it way up into the air, lets the wind drift it. And it takes a good bounce for Nebraska and is down at the eight-yard line. And first down for Oklahoma. Spencer Tillman and Leon Perry are now in the backfield for Oklahoma. Tillman, of course, the more experienced of all the backs. They stay inside with Perry. The second down and seven. Here goes Keith Jackson, the tight end on a reverse. Gets a block on the corner and breaks into the open. It's now a foot race. He's got an open field in front of him. He's running out of gas. He scores! Extra points can mean a lot. Two Bose is no gimme either. Old driving kick into the wind. Way back into the end zone. It's the key play. Matter of inches as Nebraska comes from the 20. And they go with Dubose on an inside play. To 
Quarterback is McCather and Clayton. He's a good runner. Runs the option a lot. Down the line he goes. Outside pitch to Dubos. Dubos gets by the cover man. And Matt Carey. First down for the Cornhuskers. Sooners out to the 7-0 lead on Jackson Davis. Dubose working his way through traffic to about the 37, where he Clayton brings him up out of the eye formation at their own 37-yard line. Clayton takes it twice, keeps it, now pitches it outside. It's a high pitch. Dubose does well to pull it down. Clayton goes the other way this time, keeps it, turns into traffic, and will get a yard out of the play. It is the deep man. Brown is the short man. Winger's punt, not very good. He was trying to lift another one up into the wind, but it's a tail dragger and takes a Nebraska bounce and goes rolling and rolling and rolling and finally dies just inside the 10. In the wishbone. Colback has it. And it's a pickup of three yards. There without Mark Munford, who they lost him to knee injury last week. Holloway was held in the backfield for just a fraction of a second by a Nebraska defender. Spencer Tillman is back in the backfield. He's been known to throw a half-back pass, but Holloway's going to throw it instead down the middle for Jackson. He's got it, and he's down at the Nebraska 46-yard line, and if Holloway had given him the ball sooner, he would have scored again. First down, Sooners at the Husker 46. Flip it outside. Three white shirts out there chasing Patrick Collins. And you know Patrick has got to lose that wrestle. Second down, eight. Keith Jackson has 126 yards in the ball game so far. That goes to Collins again, and Collins will get maybe a yard out of it. Stafford back in for Tillman now on third down and seven. Holloway going down the line with it. Keeps it. Turns up field, first down, breaks loose. They score, touchdown! So much for a freshman Jim. Oklahoma coaches went out and watched him play in high school and came back and said he's the best wishbone quarterback prospect we've seen it he's going to be our quarterback for four years Lasher good on the, the trick play and it all works he scored Todd Thompson kicks it high down to the goal line it is taken by Keith Jones got a wedge breaks it out and then bingo at the 28 yard line from the 28 now let's see what the Huskers see if they can get something going here they give the ball to Rathman and Tom never really has a chance. He takes a lot of double team. That frees one of the backers. Here's the pitch back to DeBose, who wants takes the forward pass, holds it down, starts running, and gets it to the 30. Eric Mitchell, who's another freshman, may get to see some action today. Quick pop by Clayton. Good to Stitzler. He's going to break a big play out of it and go across midfield. Clayton turns around, flips the ball back. Dubose makes a one-handed reception of it and runs the ball. Well, that old one down the southwest is going to have some meaning for a change, isn't it? Ball is given to fullback Rathman on second down and four, and Tom fights. Third down, a yard and a half for the Huskers. They go to Dubose. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage. Never had a chance. I mean, there were four red shirts coming after him, but he has over a three-point average. But by Winger. High hanger. Huskers down there. They should be able to kill it. The man covering it was Schnitzler, and they start this time from the two, but they lead 14 to nothing. And they go to a one-back offense, and Holloway's going to throw on first down. Loops it toward the sidelines for Keith Jackson. They've been busting their plays. Penalty flag, the first one of the ball game. Spencer Tillman carries and is very close. He tackled. He I leaned he in the, Yeah, he encroached and he leaned in the tuck in. Yeah. Carries the fullback, but Holloway, the quarterback, keeps it. Slides right over the left side behind Simpson and Hudson, and he's got the first down. And then a 43 yard scamper by Janelle Holloway. And the ball this time is carried by Spencer Tillman, and Tillman gets good yardage out close to the 18 yard line. And call it second down and. Here comes Holloway. 
20, 20, oh my gosh, did you see that stiff arm? Oklahoma has 204 yards running the ball. Just outside the 31. Go right back to the fullback. Ball got away from him the last time. Confidence builder here. Give it a car and car slams in. Oh, a good five yards and the quarter is over. Second down four now as we go to the second quarter. Oklahoma's ball at their own 37, leading 14 to nothing. Ball goes again to the fullback car. And he's close to the first down. And it's first down from the 42. Holloway going down the line, turns it up to the 45. Three yards on the carry. The referee is supposed to see it. Second down and seven. Holloway under some heat. And slides away from two people, but will take a sack. Back inside the 40. Carr, the long remaining back. Quarterback draw. Fullback. They give it a car, the fullback, and Carr Why takes a car pretty good here? lick for the running offense that it is passing. Wind at his back. Winchester hangs it out there. The ball bounces straight sideways and out of bounds at about the 22. Nebraska plays have been eight runs by DeBose, four others, including Rathman, and there have been four passes, and they are sports. Clayton stays in at quarterback, hands the ball off to the eye back, Doug DuBose, at for Nebraska, too. They run that a lot. The wing back reverse. Got a back goal with Rathman. This has been the kind of a play that he has been so successful with that he's successful again. He certainly did. Round one to Tom. <laughs> this is DuBose. This time, Bosworth didn't miss. They're down 14 nothing, but there is certainly no panic. This is the goal. Here comes your reverse. It is Shepard. On Shepard. Big play. Gone. Gone now. It's a foot race to the corner. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. It was hard because that one official was tied up trying to catch up. This is Clayton spinning inside, and he gets almost nothing out of it. Second down and goal. Ball still at the six. Clayton rolls it out. Fake the pass. Sacked by Kevin Murphy. Number 39. The rest of the ball is now back near the seven. Schnitzler is the wide man at the top of the picture. They want to throw it to him. They put it in the corner of the end zone, and it is incomplete. Defended by Liddell Glenn. And we have seen it. 23-yard field goal try by Dale Klein, who kicked seven against Missouri. A game Nebraska won 28 to 21, and he missed this one wide right. He tried to hook it back in. Two points. Oklahoma's ball at the 20, leading 14 nothing. Holloway turns and gives the ball to Spencer Tillman. Second down. Ball at six. Perry's in there at fullback right now as Holloway comes down the line with it, tries to pitch it out, does get it away just barely. He almost made a bad decision there. Able to handle that bad pitch. The ball was, as you said. They nailed him 15, didn't they? Yes, they did. Twisted. Turned. Vance Carlson heading up the officials for today's Big 8 game. Holloway turns, hands that ball to uh, Stafford again. And Anthony Stafford is 28 degrees up there today. They were forecasting, so it's cold and snowy. Holloway got a good block from somebody over there and hurdles over the top of number 55. Short game. Third down and seven. Down the line, Holloway. Keeps it 
this time does not risk the throw. And again, making a good play at that in that NFC West. That's our presentation Monday night here on ABC. High, high kick, forcing a fair catch. Did he, did he call fair catch? I guess not. First down at their own 23, and there was a penalty on that previous uh, reception of the punt. Moving the ball out to a little better field position, and Nebraska going to its muscle. Those votes are to be made shortly. Second down and three. Dubose keeps it. They ran that same formation with the same movement where they had the reverse by Shepard for third down and three. Clayton down the line, going around the corner, has a first down as he gets up to about the 35. Huskers do have their first down just over the 35 on Clayton's run. Clayton coming down, gets good block on the corner, cuts it back inside, and he is just short of midfield and making this one. First down. Pitch out is bad. Gets a good bounce up into the arms of Doug DeBose, but by that time, the Oklahoma defense is all over him. And the loss is about 11 yards. Second down, 21. Clayton. Very, very good protection. Now throws it deep, and he's got a man down there. And a great play by Sonny Brown in front of Rod Smith. Right there. Clayton is two out of six in his passing for 37 yards. Intercepted once. Trying to set up a screen pass, but he is absolutely buried. 49-41 in his three previous punts. This is high, but the wind's going to kill it. And the wind knocked it out of bounds, and he'll get very little out of that one. Make an adjustment, Keith. They've changed a lot of things first. Oklahoma now from the 44. Second down, six. Ball squirted out from under. Uh, the third down and seven for the Sooners now. Here comes Jackson on that tight end reverse, and he's got it big again. He's out of bounds. He's out of bounds at the 25. At the 25. Just short of the 25. This one goes for 28 yards. That's Slidell Carr from just outside the 25 to the 24. They widen everybody. It's second down and nine at the Husker 24. For the Sooners, Holloway gets away. Outside the pitch goes at Stafford. And Stafford is down at the 21. And it's in the full back. Yep. Rolling over the top. Tim Lasher, 37 yard field goal try out of Sonny Brown's hold. Plenty of leg. And good. With one minute and 18 seconds to play in the first half, in Oklahoma 17, Nebraska nothing. 118 now as Thompson kicks it off for Oklahoma. Wynn's going to push it on into the end zone, and it's Doug DuBose coming out with it. Oh, look at that good block there to get him out across the 25 and up. Couldn't put it in. Missed field goal. Clayton on a little delay to DuBose, Bosworth, and company. Second down and nine for Nebraska. This is Doug DuBose. To the bottom of the picture. Let's see if they put it up. Yep, they want to. The pass is away, and the pass is incomplete, intended for Roger Lindstrom. The wing back in the first half is over, with the Sooners dominating 17 to nothing. And they'd be going into the win, Keith. Oklahoma's strategy is to score another quick one before the fourth quarter win changes in their favor. Thompson hangs it way up there. He goes back to the one-yard line for Keith Jones. And Keith comes back out around the 21. Bosworth has seven tackles to lead in the game now. And Nebraska comes out, sends the play into the middle with Tom Rathman Young. A lot of misery for the Big Eight on that roster for next year and years to come. Here comes McCathern Clayton. And he's nailed down at about the 25 yard. So from just outside the 25, it's third down and six. McCathern Clayton pulls it down and he was pulled down in turn by Jeff Tupper. Fall pretty low because the wind's going to knock it down if he gets it high. 
He gets a very tight spiral on his punt and gets a lot out of it. Derek Shepard with a fair catch call at Stafford and uh, Collins, the halfbacks. The white man is Derek Shepard, and the ball goes into the middle to Lydell Carr. And it's second down at about five for the Sooners, just short of the 35. They take it inside one more time. Pick up a two on the carry by Carr. Holloway gives the ball away, and here's the first down as Lydell Carr carries three successive times. What a lot of stake here. And Oklahoma leading 17 to nothing as Holloway turns around and goes down the line, carrying the ball like a loaf of bread, and picks up 12, 15, 17, 18 yards. Just short of the 40 on the Nebraska side of the field in a first down, Oklahoma. Holloway still got it. Is thrown down at about the 33. Uh, it's second down and two. Holloway gaining confidence with every snap of the ball. Breaks it inside the 20. Carr bounces off the stack and then falls ahead to about the 15. So it is still a mighty concern in the state of Oklahoma. Here's Holloway being caught behind the line of scrimmage and eventually brought down. First contact was made, I think, by Jim Scow. Oklahoma, first down. And third down and nine as Holloway rolls it. Runs a hump a little bit and then whips it into the end zone. And the pass is incomplete, intended for Lee Morris. It's a 33-yarder. 9.23 to go in the third quarter. Sonny Brown to hold it. High snap. Sonny got it down. Lasher hit it square, and it is good. So the Sooners build the lead to 20 to nothing over old rival Nebraska. Thompson will kick it off. DeVos and Jones deep. And Thompson got a powerful leg. Knocks it well beyond. The... And Steve Taylor is in at quarterback for Nebraska, a freshman from Spring Valley, California. Very, very quick and a pretty good passer. Too. That's a tough place to be. Almost lost the ball, but recovers it and keeps it running the option play and will have a yard or so. Third down and four for the Cornhuskers. Taylor throwing. Whips it. Got a man. First down. Making the catch on his knees at the 36 is Rob Schnitzler. He's six feet, 180 pounder. You see what happened when they do that. There stands Bosworth, nobody in front of him. You're right, Keith. Oh, look out. He's having trouble. Third down and about nine. You've got a figure pass. Linston goes in motion. And Taylor gets some heat and goes down. Kevin Murphy. Murphy was blocked for a moment. Eric Shepard is the deep man for the Sooners. Wingard punting into the wind. Had a 48-yarder a while ago with a tight spiral, and he's got another dandy. Shepard again, fair catches at the 25-yard line. What they're hoping for. Five men up on the front. Holloway takes a snap and hands it off to Leon Perry. I don't think I'd like to play that. <laughs> it takes two. It takes two. Oh, here's a setup on a... Started the tight end reverse. Keith Jackson with the ball. He was going to throw the thing. Comes up to the 47-yard line. He's liable to make that name famous yet. Here comes Holloway turning the corner. And thrown out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And they go oh, second down and about a half a yard. And they hand this one off to Spencer Tillman. And it looks like Spencer's getting his health back now. Anthony Phillips, who was shaken up earlier at right tackle, is in there now plays. Holloway gives that ball to Perry, the fullback. And he just sort of sneaks in there for four yards. 34-yard line of Nebraska, second down, and long six for Oklahoma. Holloway pushes it back. Spencer Tillman past the yard marker at a first down for the Sooners. And first down Sooners with 3.40 to go, third quarter. Orange Bowl conference title, national championship possibility. Right now, looks like it's got Oklahoma red on it. As uh, the ball came loose for a moment, they're scrambling for it. They're calling it down. Second down. Long 
three for Oklahoma. Holloway, first bust. They busted that play. Third down and three. Lydell Carr back in there at fullback. Ball on the Husker 17. And it is Holloway. Touchdown. Asher's ready for the extra point try. Penalty flags are down because Nebraska had uh, cross into the neutral zone. All right, 2.26 to go in the third quarter, and it's a big one for the Sooners. A lot of people feel was the best athlete in the state of Arkansas West. No question about it. He'll be in this ball game in just a minute, Keith, I believe. That ball is kicked into the stands. First down. Freshman in for Nebraska. There's that re wing back reverse with Shepard carrying, shaking off people. Oh, that's a fine run by Vaughn Shepard. Uh, that young sophomore from Texas is a winner. Donnie Jones. Ball just outside the 32, and Steve Taylor rolling out, gets his pass away, and uh, throwing on the run, sails behind. How good is your quarterback? Steve Taylor gives the ball inside. But the inside game for the Huskers is the... And it's third down and five. Steve Taylor dodges one man, but there are others. Unless you can pass like Vinny Testaverde. Well, that's a different story. You're right. High-hanging, spinning punt. Fair caught and fumbled away. And the ball is loose, rolling on the ground, and the Cornhuskers cover it at the 19-yard line. We have an inadvertent whistle. On a free ball, we replay the down. Oh, me, what a piece Wait of a minute now. Blood. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, Keith. The, 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 the team that can take the play, they can take the play, Mr. Carlson. They have a choice to play the play. Or dig out the book. Uh, I tell you, we had that before, and that's what we call. That's High what... hanging kick this time is a little better putt by... Uh, Wingard. This time, Shepard holds on to it, and Jamel Holloway stays in there at quarterback with Carr at fullback, and Stafford and Collins behind him, and uh, gives the ball to Carr, and that time, loss of two, so call it second down and 12 from the 15. This is Holloway coming around the corner to the 20. And the third quarter is over. Uh, if you'd blown the whistle when Nebraska had the ball, they would have had the option to keep it. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and six. And Holloway is caught behind the line of scrimmage and thrown out of bounds. That's different. Yeah, that's different. Here's the punt out of there by Winchester, and it's a pretty good one. They've handled this win pretty well today. The ball comes all the way out to midfield where Tennessee won big today over Kentucky. Steve Taylor has it. Wants to throw it. Now he's got a convoy on his side of the field. But by now he can't find anybody to throw as Peach has played so outstanding throughout the season. Second down and call it four yards for the Huskers. Taylor zips one. It is intercepted at the 26. Coming up with it, Derek White. Now the Sooners have the football, first down, at their own 26-yard line. Holloway's gone all the way at quarterback for them, but the Huskers have handled him pretty well. Second down and still 10. Holloway back to throw it. Goes down the middle for Jackson. He got it and dropped it. Had it in his hand. But he went down with two corn huskers. That's why you're quickie, Jim Rent. Here's Holloway again on third down and ten. Under pursuit. Now he's going to get a little help from one of the officials to <laughs> and trying to turn back up the field. Jim Scow. Now Oklahoma's got to punt it out of the end zone. And it's not very good. It got up in that wind, didn't have much rotation on it, and the wind just spun it right down. So might as well go ahead and baptize it. Gets his pass away, wide open, Frayne, and Todd Frayne, the tight end, is down.
first and goal. They had a first and goal back in the second quarter of the sixth. Taylor, the quarterback, keeps it and goes to the one. Oh, so it's second down and goal. The ball at the one. Dubos is hit back at the two. It's third down and goal from the two. Oklahoma's trying to shut him out. Fumble. Oklahoma claims it. They do have it. Oklahoma with the fumble recovery. Bosworth did get it. And they start at the one. And they're still there just about. Here. Ball is still at the one. We're at second down. This time they give it to Spencer Tillman. And Tillman works his way out to about the six. Quite a while in the Big Ten. You're not supposed to make the deal because <laughs> that's what makes the whole thing so dead gum farcical. Come from behind, I believe, is the best we've ever had in college. Penalty against Oklahoma makes it third down and long back on the uh, three yard line. And he's the protector for the punter. Kick is out of there, and it's a much, much, much better kick. He had 16 yards the last time. This time he spins it out in a state of shock. He also became a citizen. Catherine Clayton is back into the ball game for Nebraska, and the pitch play to Doug DeBose. And there's been some Heisman Trophy players in there, too. Yes, total of five of them. Long pass is complete downfield to Liddell Green. Liddell Green's second interception of the day. Glenn, Liddell Glenn. Glenn is just hanging on the sidelines. Eric Mitchell now comes into the ball game at quarterback for Oklahoma. He is the other freshman. 6'1", 195 from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And Leon Perry, the fullback, is... Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I do. Sure. Second down and 12 now. As Mitchell goes down the line on the option and keeps it. And is ridden down by a third down and 12 play for the Oklahoma Sooners. This time Mitchell comes this way with it. Bounces off uh, Jim out. Scow and goes the other way with blocking. He'll have a first down up at the 36. Safely, freshman from California. Ball is given off to Anthony Stafford. And here is second down and 10 with Eric Mitchell at quarterback for the Sooners from their own 36. And the line he goes. Bounces outside and gets up across the 40 to the 41. Barry brought him down, and he's been the one responsible for working and training. Jamel Holloway and Eric Mitchell. Mitchell's hard to get a hold of. He's got a first down. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> this momentum is what happens. 48-yard line, Lydell Carr given the ball. Basket been given up less than 200, so they've doubled. Carrying Damon Stell in the game, but I think this defense is almost more impressive than the offense, really. And it's hard to choose, but I'd like to have both. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Third down and 10, and Mitchell is caught and thrown down as he crosses midfield. The great runners of all time in college football. The kick is away by Mike Winchester, and not a particularly good one, but he gets a very good roll on it. And the Sooners are happy to see it roll dead at the three. They got four of them lined up outside out here. Didn't have a chance to run this one before. Now you might as well have some fun. No, it's not Taylor. It's Travis Turner in there. And the pass is thrown downfield and goes incomplete. Now Taylor comes into the ball game for Nebraska. So Travis Turner got one shot at it with the gimmick play. And uh, the ball is given to Keith Jones and uh, at Austin, Texas, since the Truman administration. 1951, and they still have it. They lost today. Here's Turner back in the game and almost sacked in the end zone, is intercepted and then dropped. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, it's the Blue Norther has arrived. High kick up into the wind. Isn't going to go very far unless it gets a big roll and then it goes sideways. And Nebraska's punter, Dan Wingard. First down for Oklahoma at the 40. Eric Mitchell stays in there at quarterback. Fully capable of breaking on, and here he goes. Shoved out of bounds at the 19 by Oklahoma. Today has been 
probably the most impressive football team we've seen all year. Wouldn't you say, Keith, both offense and defensively? Well, I thought Miami was pretty impressive. Oh, it's first down and 15 after the penalty. And that's... Uh, Ball is loose and picked up by a Nebraska man fumbling down the sidelines. Who is Chris Bachman of all people? And big Chris and the ball into the end it's zone. It's a touchdown, Keith. And it's going to be a touchdown. He caught it in the air. He took the ball away from the back. Maloney. Pierce. John Maloney uh, had the ball popped loose from him. And big old Chris Bachman picked that thing up and took off. And all of his offensive line buddies were on the goal line by the time he got there to help him celebrate. Maloney has the ball right there. Number 96, Scal, knocks the ball out. And number 76 catches it <laughs> in the air. And uh, with 26 seconds to play in the ball game. And the conversion try. Dan Wingard is on there now. Obviously, they're showing onside kick. Oklahoma's expecting it. There it is. The ball is caught in the air by number 37, Todd Smith, the defensive back. And Smith gets it back down inside the 40 for the back. And this game will be history. Winning by a score of 27 to 7. And the Sooners, if they win their next two, will certainly be in posture to battle Penn State for a national championship, provided, of course, Penn State can handle Pittsburgh in a game tonight. Crowd flowing down out of the stands. Bear is trying to work his way over to shake hands with Tom Osmond. They're good friends. They have strong competitors. Two great programs, but it was all Oklahoma today.